Hi there, my name is Anna. I'm here to guide and to teach you on how to use the different features of Microsoft Excel for the intermediate end users. This training program has 12 different modules. Now let's begin with module one. Module one is about formulas. The topics are number one, operators. Number two, referencing types. Number three, defining names. What are formulas in Microsoft Excel? Formulas are equations that perform calculations on values in a worksheet. Excel has over 475 formulas in its functions library. It can do simple mathematics to very complex statistical, logical, and engineering tasks such as if statements, and, or, not functions, count, average, and min and max. Now there are four different parts of an Excel formula, and these are functions, references, constants, and operators. Looking at that sample, that formula sample, from left to right it reads equals pi, asterisk a2, caret 2. Pi is a function, just like sum, average, max, min, B lookup, H lookup, you name it. While the asterisk and the caret are both operators in Microsoft Excel. The asterisk is used for multiplication, while the caret is used for exponentiation. A2 is a reference. It points to column A, and it points also to row 2. While 2 is a constant value. Again, this formula is a perfect sample showing those four different parts of an Excel formula. Function, reference, constant, and operators. In Microsoft Excel, operators play a very important role. Now, there are four different types of operators in Excel. These are the arithmetic operators, the comparison operators, the text concatenation operator, and the reference operators. What are operators really in Excel? The definition says, operators specify the type of calculation that you want to perform on the elements of a formula. Again, as mentioned, there are four operator types, and these are the arithmetic operators, comparison operators, the text operator, and then fourth, the reference operators. What are the operators that belong to arithmetic? You have plus for addition, minus for subtraction or negation, the asterisk for multiplication, the forward slash for division, percent, caret for exponentiation. Now the comparison operator, if you need to compare values coming from different references, across sheets in Excel, or within the same sheet in Excel, you can use the equal sign, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and not equal to, to compare these values. And the expected result will always be a logical value of either true or false. The next operator type is the text concatenation operator. When we say concatenate, it simply means to combine or join text strings or values coming from different cells or references in Excel. Now to join or concatenate these values, we need to use the ampersand. On your keyboard, you can find the ampersand on number seven. Later, I'll be showing to you how to concatenate values or text coming from different references. Now the last operator type, is the reference operator. The reference operator combines ranges of cells for calculations. 
Now, there are three major reference operators, and these are the colon, the comma, and the space. Now, looking at the colon, the definition of a colon, the range operator produces one reference to all the cells between two references, including the first and last reference. For example, we need to do the summation of Bravo 5 until Bravo 15. Now, Excel will look at different cells from that range, B5 until B15, and it will include the values inside B5 and B15. Again, the range operator can do this. The range operator is represented by the colon. Next, we have the comma. The comma is technically called as the union operator. The union operator combines multiple references into one reference. The formula as a sample says, sum reference one is B5 until B15, while reference two is D5 until D15. Now combine the values coming from reference one, B5 until B15, and the values from D5 until D15, then we can get the total summation of any value coming from these references. The third reference operator is the space operator. Technically, it's called as the intersection operator. The intersection operator produces on reference to cells common to the two references. Example given, reference one is Bravo 7 until B7, B7 until D7. Now, reference two is C6 until C8. Now, these two references will intersect at column C, row 7. Now, whatever value is in C7 will be the expected result. Now, to show you a sample of how the intersection operator works, let's look at this sample. There's a column for months. Column A shows January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. While column B for product one shows 638, 532, 606, and so on. Column C is for product two. Column B is for product three. Now please look at the intersection of reference one and reference two. Now the two references intersects at column C, row five. Column C, row five has 523. And that is the expected result after intersecting these references. Now let's go to sample number two. Sample number two has the same columns, A for month, B for product one, C for product two. D is for product three. Let's reference one, space reference two. Now let's do a formula that's an array. Now the result is And there we go. Now, sample number three shows a column for sales rep. We have John, Joe, Mike, Rachel, Arvind, and Zinn, Harry, Tom, and Paul, and then Stephen. And we have the months from January to December. Now, looking at the intersection of the sales rep names and the names of the month, we could extract the intersection of both rows and columns. Rows for the sales rep and columns for the month. All right. Now let me show to you how the arithmetic operators work, how the comparison operators work, including the text concatenation and the reference operators.
And let me go 